ang suhito, the subject na ating tatalakay ngayon, no? patuloy tayo nalalago kasi pumasok na tayo sa river. Okay, movement na talaga. No? Talagang ito na, yung movement from the mount, mga principles na makikita natin na from the mount, bucket mount yun kasi down below, we can see the movement. No? We can see the movement. But right now the river, we will see the the the, the, ano na, the details of the movement. Napakaganda kapatid. No? Yung, yung motif ng mensahe ng langit para sa atin. Pansandaigdigang paghubo sa mga tao. So, by the title itself, no? makikita na natin. No? Talagang maintindihan na natin Makikita na natin kung paano at ano talaga itong gera. Yung tinatawag great controversy na malinaw nating titingnan na hindi tayo madala sa mga conspiracy theories, kapatid. Seemingly, seemingly true. Sabi dyan. Pero pag nakuha mo ang prinsipyo sa misahe ng Panginoon, makikita mo agad. Halimbawa, global formation of humanity. So, ibig sabihin na ang choices ng tao ay na, na ano niya, na exercise niya. Ano, na exercise niya by virtue of what has been initiated, what has been uh, provided. Kasi formation eh, paano na purma ang tao? Bakit ganito ang movement ng humanity? Bakit ganito ang movement ng relihiyon Bakit ganito ang movement? ng mga bansa ng buong mundo. Okay? Bakit ganito ang interactions? Bakit ganito ang program, project ng buong mundo? So, napakagandang detalye na ipinagkaloob ng langit sa atin sa pamagitan ng kanyang salita. Kaya nga, it is written. So, lahat ng attempt na deception, madali natin sabihin kasi gaya ni Kristo, na it is all written, my beloved friends. So, spiritual at social, kasi ito naman ang pinaka-primary natin na buhay, yung ating spiritual at social. Paano ang spiritual hinubog? No? Hinubog siya. So, sa in the backdrop of the great controversy. So, paano siya hinubog? Sa nagkatunggaling no? part parties ba? Yung social natin, paano makaapikto ang social? Paano ang spiritual man social makaapikto sa spiritual? Paano ang spiritual makaapikto sa social? Vice versa kapatid. Okay? Kaya hilingin ko sa inyo rin matapos tayong manalangin, kayo din diyan, manalangin kayo kay it is highly technical, it's highly na it requires our, pre, our connection. No? To our God. Kailangan makakonect talaga tayo kapatid. Okay? Shall we bow our heads for prayer? Dakila at mapagmahal namin Diyos na nasa grasya ng truno ng mga langit. Aming itagubilin muli ang aming mga puso't isipan. And through these virtual connections, we can grow in grace in the knowledge of what you have revealed. Thank you for giving us this privilege. Thou bless all who have been in this line, who have the heart to be reconnected to your words. So we can also proclaim radically to be connected to our Creator and to our Redeemer. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for providing us the blueprint. And thank you, Lord Holy Spirit, for giving us power to understand your words in Christ's name we pray. Amen. So, from the mount to the river, tandaan palagi natin, mount or river, kasi dito mo makikita talaga yung, yung irrefutability na ang kanilang fulfillment, the lateral and symbolical application of the river and the mount prescription covers the same apocalyptic dynamism of events and fulfillments. 
talagang isa lang ang kanilang application. Makikita mo talaga siya. In fact, events are self-evident and continually active and alive. No? Atibo at alive siya, kapatid, na makikita natin talaga. Hindi yung nakatago gaya ng theory na itin, uh, yung para bang naging yung mga kunwa, na, na ano natin na demonizing people na lahat naman ng tao wala namang nakalamang sa atin na we are all no we are all being called for di ba at the foot of the cross kita naman talaga no kaya nga maganda yung yung mga presentation ni pastor Delian Ruel no in creation we are all God's children in redemption we are all God's children but in the great controversy In the movement of the war, there are those who choose not to abide. Kita mo na lahat yun, yung dynamics ba na ganda kapatid, no? Na we really have to decide and obey and embrace the grace of Christ to be empowered to be children. Ganun yun eh, no? Ganda yun. So you have to view yung tinatawag na ministry na The power of God's grace. So dito natin makikita ngayong gabi. No? Himay-himay kasi very uh, ano ito, na loaded masyado ito na topic. Sipin mo. No? Hindi na nga ito, ano eh, kailangan nga pati nga ang mga scholars ng mga theological schools. Kailangan i-revisit at upuan. Kung naramdaman natin na we are souls to be saved. Maliban na lang kung hindi talaga maramdaman ng mga doctors of theology na they are souls na I am souls to be saved. Pag mawala na yan, kasi nangigibabaw na yung ano dyan, na mahirap na yun. Kaya kailangan ng Elijah, gaya ba ng King Ahab, gaya ba ni Elijah na ang life ni Elijah, the Elijah message, and the Elijah movement is to proclaim the message to the leaders of the world. So dapat malinaw yan kapatid. That must be clear. Dapat malinaw yan kasi yun ang movement na natin ngayon. So napakaralan natin kagabi na in the fullness of the transgressions of the postmodern world, when the transgressors are come to the full, so nakikita natin two global events have changed the landscape of the battlefield. Nag-change na ang landscape. Hindi na gaya yung palaging iniisip natin na mga, yung mga karumal-dumal na mga kung ano ang klaseng mga gagawin ni Satanas. No? Brutalities ang kanyang gagawin. Brutalities. Yung bang nangyari sa Dark Ages, yun ang palaging iniantay at pinoproject ng maraming Seventh-day Adventists. Pinoproject kaya iniinterpret ang lahat ng galaw, kilos, na iniinsinuate ang maraming Adventists na ito na, ito na, oh, itong ganitong kilos nila, ito na yung mga gawagawin ng mga Illuminati, ng mga, ito na ang gagawin ng mga Jesuits. Oh, wala naman na saan ba yan? No? Kaya sinasabi dito, number one, the world wandered after him. No? Bumili. <laughs> Bumili. Tapos number two, inculturation. Pag sinabing culture means way of life. And that's so powerful. Kasi you don't need arms. You don't need ano, pa, ang inculturation culture na way of life na ng tao. Kaya so powerful. Paano magkaroon ng kultura ang isang tao o tribo o bansa? So, naintindihan natin when you go into the science of the world, yung philosophy or teachings or policy or advocacy. So, that's common term right now, advocacy, advocacy. So, these are no ordinary achievement of the papacy. So huwag natin i-demonize no, parang satana, but we have to see the belief and the, and the their understanding no, bakit ganito. Kaya nga nagsimula na tayo doon sa post-millennialist theology kasi yun ang pinaka ano na, pinaka bannering philosophy kapatid. So dito natin nakikita na literally sinabi ni Kristo, He shall stand the Pope in the Holy Land. So sa ating generation na from that time, no, from that time, formalized na talaga hanggang sa pagdating ni, ni Pope Francis ngayon, talagang 
nakikita na natin truth stands by itself, the new Roman Empire. So dito natin madetalye na it's not, the, it's not the Revelation 13 as to be the grounding statement of Christ, but here at the river, so we can see the details of the movement. Ganda kapatid ito kapatid. So the last two visions of Daniel, you know, the last two messages of Christ for us, the last generation. Bakit? Kasi dito natin makikita the last act, the last move, the last dance of Christ in you. So paano ang kaaway ni Kristo no, paano niya na-influensyahan? No? Paano niya na-influensyahan ang tao at ang institusyon? So, i-picture mo agad ang Garden of Eden. Paano niya, no? paano niya na-influensyahan? Si Adam, o si Eve at the first couple at si Adam. Si Adam, kapatid. No? Kita mo agad, ma-picture mo na agad ngayon ang paano. di ba? Kasi makikita mo ba na binugbog ni Satanas si A- si Iba binugbog niya si Adan para mamata para magkaroon ng kamatayan sila di ba wala pero bakit makikita yan wala talaga kapatid kaya dito ngayong gabi makikita natin na simula na tayo sa 23 no 24 na tayo kaya ang sabi diyan I will let, let, let Daniel 8:19 di ba Kaya sabi niyan, I will let you know what shall be the last end of the indignation for the time appointed, the end shall be. So dito sa dynamics na movement na ito, dito magtapos ang story of redemption. Sa ganitong movement, kapatid. Kasi sa movement na ating tatalakay ngayon, ito rin ang magpaliwanag ng three angels' messages. Ito rin ang maghata, magliwanag para sa the whole book of Revelation. Kaya sinabi ni Lenny Joy, study the book of Revelation in connection with Daniel. So that must be a whole package relationship. Huwag mong pidyot-pidyot eh kasi ang binigyan niya, Sabat and Sunday lang. Hindi <laughs> kapatid. It's not even a culturally molding ano, teachings. Diba? Hindi man talaga. Ano? So ano yung culturally molding Paano natin titingnan ito kapatid? So sa mga lahat na, kaya nga dito natin kung sino man ang may mga doubt sa Bible, sa Ellen G. White. No? So I, I, don't, I don't convince people to believe on the writings of Ellen G. White. But we just want to tell you what the Bible exactly. Because the Bible will stand by itself. So, makikita mo ang beauty ba ng Biblia? Kahit walang Ellen G. White, patayuhin natin ang Biblia. No? So dito natin maintindihan kapatid na pag sinabi, I will let you know, makikita mo ba yung I will let you know? So ano yun? Ano yung ipaalam ng, ni Kristo na sinabi niya kay Daniel na tatayo ito sa ating panahon, sa ating generation? Kasi siya nagsabi, Thou shall rest Daniel, but your life will stand at the end of the day. So ito ang tatayo ngayong gabi. Si Daniel, so pasalamatan natin ang Panginoon ngayon na tatayo si Daniel ngayon, kapatid sa ating puso't isipan. Ano yon? Yung prinsipyo at filosofiya na, tu- na tumatakbo sa ating generation na diniscribe, piniscribe ni Kristo doon kay Daniel. Kung paano ang prinsipyo at filosofiya ito na nag-intertwine, nag-generate, nag-engage ng political structures and all the social operations of the whole planet Earth. Take note that the language social operations in the whole planet Earth. So napakaganda nito kapatid. Napakaganda ang filosofiya. Kaya pagbasahin natin ang Daniel 8.23, Daniel 8.24, Daniel 8.25, three verses lang ito. So three verses lang and in the letter time of your kingdom. With the church grace of can to the full. You know verse 23. But in verse 24, and his power shall be mighty, but not by his own power. And he shall destroy wonderfully, and he shall prosper and practice, and shall destroy the mighty and the holy people. Ganda niya, no? And through his policy also, he shall cause crap 
to prosper in his hand. And he shall magnify himself in his heart. And by peace shall destroy many. He shall also stand against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken without him. <laughs> Bigat nito kapatid. Napakaganda talagang pagkalingwahe ng Panginoon. So ito yung, ito yung verses na nag-describe ng Olay River kapatid. Nang little horn. Okay? So the whole chapter talks about kings. So na-identify na natin ang kings ngayon. So ano yung operational principles? No? Operational principles after these issues of fullness of the transgressions. Diba? Fullness of the transgression. Yun ang timing ng paglabas niya. So ang timing ng paglabas niya, sa gitna ng kaniliman ng kasamaan ng salibutan, diniscribe ni Kristo ang kanyang mga galaw, kapatid. Yung galaw niya. So dito natin mapupokus talaga yung how he transforms as an angel of light. And I will be light the most high. So he shall destroy wonderfully. Ang destroy sa kapatid, dapat ang partner niya, terrible or destroy terribly. Pero dito he shall destroy wonderfully. No? Wonderful yan. Nung nakaraang ah, panahon, talagang brutalities ang kanyang ginagawa. Terrible talaga. Kaya nga ang ginamit ng mga representations, mga mabangis na hayop. Dito kapatid, hindi na ha? Sanctuary animal. So sanctuary movement, Christ movement yun. Tandaan palagi natin, sanctuary is Christ movement. Redemption movement yan. So I will let you know to know where, to know who. What about his power? Verse 24. His power shall be mighty, but not by his own. Bakit? Wala siyang military strength. No? Wala siyang implementing forces. Implementing arms, kapatid. Pero his power shall be mighty. Saan niya hugutin yun, kapatid? Yan ang magandang tanong. What about his plan actions? Verse 24. He shall destroy wonderfully. Yung word na wonderful, kapatid, it is only attributed, used to describe Christ. Pero dito ginamit sa Daniel 8, 24. Then what shall be his move or approach of destruction? Verse 25. Through his palace. Kita mo na. What shall be his mode or approach of destruction? Through his palace. Policy. So please, mga uh, Seventh-day Adventists, yung mga amazing ministries, kung ano pa ba dyan. So I just want, please share this one to Walter White and to all the rest of these ministries in the internet. We will have an English presentation intended for them kasi Tagalog ito. Si Cristo ang nagsabi na ito ang last end. So ang gagawin ng letter horn, kasi specific na ng Bible, letter horn and dominating power. So wag naman ninyong i-demonize ang Jesuits kung ano pa man yan. Because these are people who, re- who needs salvation. Gaya ba ni Martin Luther na pare, yan na na-convert siya because he knows, he learned the message of redemption by faith the grace. So through his policy, yun ang mode or approach na gagawin sa gera kapatid. Then what shall be his means of deception? Ginagawa na madeceive sila at ang reception na ito, yun ang kanilang patakbuhin. Verse 25. Anong sinasabi doon? Sa so verse Daniel 8 25, and through his policy he shall cause craft. Di ba? He said, what do you mean by craft in English? His intelligence. He shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. So basic yan, no, na talagang lalago siya. Hindi na kailangan pang itago niya yung kanyang mga gagawin para ma, ma, ano niya, masuccessful siya sa pag maging world dominion siya na maging antichrist niya na patago ang kanyang gagawin sa pamamagitan sa paglagay ng microchips 
Kapatid. By what causes or movement he will detour? Kasi ang issue lang kapatid, detour lang. I-defy lang tayo at i-fornicate. Defiling ba? Dungisan ka lang, kapatid. Defiling lang ang kanyang kaba. Sa anong paraan niya gawin ito? By what cause or movement na gagawin na ma-defile tayo? Simple. Sinabi ng Daniel 8.25 And by peace and by prosperity shall destroy many. Because destroy na kasi ending na ito eh. By peace and by prosperity shall deceive many. O pwede na yan by de- deceive or destroy. Kasi magkapatid lang yan sila. Pero tingnan natin yung, yung dinadaanan niya kasi wala namang distraction kung walang deception. Kaya doon sa bundok, sinabihan taga tayo na let no man deceive you. So, looking back to the whole text, Daniel 8.25 and through his policy, also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. Sa ayaw natin sa gusto, talagang maging globalized ang kanyang mga policy. Sa ayaw natin sa gusto, kasi si Kristo ang nagsabi, talagang mag-prosper ang kanyang mga movement. Mag-prosper ang kanyang mga pamimigay. Kaya he, and he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. Kaya yung pamimigay, giving by yung hand. Siyempre, ang, magpa, ang magpatakbo, ang pag, mag-implement kamay. And he shall magnify himself in his heart. No? In his heart. And by peace and prosperity shall destroy men. Do not. He shall also stand up against the prince of princes that he shall, but he shall be broken without end. So dito natin himay-himayin. Kasi yung kinamit na peace, ang strong concordance, Hebrew word niya, is shalva. Ang meaning ng shalva, security. Genuine or false? You know with that? Genuine or false, abundance, peace, prosperity. Sa King James Version, peace ang ginamit niya. Pero sa 1888, Darby Bible Version, prosperity. Kasi the same word, pag itrace mo ang Hebrew word niya, peace, prosperity, and by abundance, by security, shall destroy many. So dito na ngayong gabi, makikita nyo na ngayon, kung ano yung pinaka-motivating principle na kumikilos ang lahat ng programa at mga proyekto ng buong mundo ngayon. So exactly in the Bible. Kaya pag binasa natin yung policy, ang word na Hebrew niyan, sikel. Ang meaning ng sikel niyan, intelligence. Kaya nga he shall cause craft by implication success. Discretion, okay? and through his policy, through his implicating success, through his intelligence, through his discretion, through his knowledge, through his policy, through his prudence, common sense, understanding, uh, uh, through his sense, understanding, wisdom, wise. Saan ba dyan yung negative na word? Saan dyan yung evil works, kapati? Please, officials and reform, amazing ministries, lahat kayo, saan ba dyan? Saan dyan yung evil works nila? Wala, kapati. Si Jesus ang nagsabi, yun ang kanilang gagawin ng letter horn. The letter horn ang pinag-usapan natin dito, kapati, that. And the king, the move, this kingdom and the king, so, movement yan, kapatid, na maintindihan natin. So, pagpuntahan naman natin ngayon ang Wikipedia, yung libreng encyclopedia, sinabi dyan ang meaning ng policy and through his policy, yung word na policy, is typically described as a principle. Ang ganda niyan. Kung kayo niya nanonood, meron kayo dictionary, tingnan nyo agad. Tingnan nyo agad. Kaya, dito natin ma- Hindi kita eh. Describe as a principle or rule 
to guide decisions and achieve rational outcomes. From the word itself, although ginamit ito sa Bible ni Jesus Christ, but from the word itself, yung applicability ng policy stands by itself. Ano yun? Prinsipyo. O mga pamaraan, rule, para i-guide ang ating desisyon at abutin ang makatarungan uh, kaganapan. Achieve rational outcomes. So essentially, as human being, dito natin makikita, kapatid, no? na ito pala. So ano kaya itong mga palisiya na tumatagbo? So titingnan natin sa Microsoft Encarta sa inyong mga laptop. Ang meaning ng policy as a noun, course of action, program of action, no, nandito na, di ba? Kanina, binabasa natin ng original sa Wikipedia, principle, rule to guide decisions. Dito na, program of actions, course of actions, adapted by a person, group or government, oh, kumpleto na ito, or the set of principles on which they are based. So Microsoft Encarta defines policy as set of principles. Number two na definition niya, prudence. Yun din ang Hebrew meaning. So napakalinaw ito sa ating generation. So what shall be his mode? I will let you know. Tara. What shall be his mode? Tagot ni Cristo, throw his policy. So pag bigbigyan natin ng conversation or dialogue between Christ and Daniel, between Christ Right now, between the Holy Spirit and us, magtanong tayo, what will be the mode or approach of the letter horn? Through his policy. What is this policy? Set of principles. Anong text to? Daniel 8.25 So napakalinaw siya kapatid na makikita natin yung definition niya. Now, it's the Bible. Now, sa mga Hindi na niniliwala kang Ellen White, pero tingnan natin yung statement ni Ellen White. 1888 niya sinulat. Mayroon siyang sinulat sa 1888 describing the movement of the papacy. Anong sinabi niya? Sa Great Controversy, page 444, paragraph 3. By the way, ha? taon 1888 niya sinulat ito. Okay? Was not this the way things went with Rome? Are we not living the life over again? And what do we see just ahead? Anong nakikita natin sa just ahead? Another general council. Grabe, no? Question mark tapos apostrophe. Ano na? A world's contention. Another general council, a world's convention, evangelical alliance, and universal plea. So a statement na sinabi, Wow! Apat general council, world's convention, evangelical alliance, and universal plea. Now science will tell us, social science will tell us, in the annals of history, in the records of history, na ang Catholic Church ay nagkaroon ng maraming council. Council of Nicaea, Council of Trent. Pag magpatawag yun ng council, kapatid, that is its global council, ang tinatawag niya council, gaya sa mga Adventist General Conference, global meeting yun. Pag-usapan niya mga doktrina, doctrinal positioning. Dito rin, Pag magpatawag sila ng council, First Vatican Council, Council of Trent, Doctrinal Discussions. Pero bakit sinabi ni Lindy White, in 1888, that there will be another general council, a world's convention, evangelical alliance, and universal free. But take note, my beloved friends, when the Roman Catholic Church called for a general council, This is an exclusive Roman Catholic movement, council. In the past council na ginawa sa kasaysayan for 2,000 years, ang council talaga nila dyan kapatid, 
Exclusive lang yan. Hindi pwede yung mga ibang mga reliyon. Pero bakit menensyon ng Diyo ay na ang kanilang General Council or World Convention magkaroon ng Evangelical Alliance? At sa council na ito with the presence of the Evangelical Alliance magkaroon ng Universal Creed. Grabing technicalities nito. Universal Creed. Kaya maganda ito kapatid kasi na-identify na ito ngayon ng iba nating mga Adventist scholars gaya ng nasa Andrews University, si John Juvan Markovic. Siya nag-focus, tinalens niya way back six years, five years ago. Tinalens niya ang Andrews University, lahat ng Tiludians ng Adventist na let us join together and revisit Vatican Council too. Kaya hopefully, uh, kung sino man sa inyo dyan sa Amerika can reach John Juban Markovic and provide this presentation. Universal Creed. So dito natin makikita na apat. Yung ba't titignan daw natin kasi universal buong mundo eh. Universal Creed. Tapos kasali na ang protestant dito at saka katuliko. Itinitaig niya sinula. So tingnan natin kapatid ang meaning ng creed. Ang creed kapatid sa Microsoft Inkarta Statement of Belief, a formal summary of principles of Christian faith. Ang ibig sabihin daw ng creed, set of principles. Hindi ako nag-ano niya gawin. Yan ang definition ng Microsoft Inkarta. So dito ngayong gabi, makikita natin ang Biblia at ang Spirit of Prophecy is telling, describing the same. Ano yung set of principles? Policy. Ano yung set of principles? Creed. Sa Bible, policy ang word na ginamit. Sa spirit of prophecy na Ellen G. White, creed ang ginamit. Ang meaning, set of principles. So kung ito man ang fulfillment of the final segment of the final things, mga kaganapan na ating makikita. How close we are to meet Christ face to face. Sipin mo, Daniel 8.25 yan. Tapos, great controversy. Napakatagal na ng Daniel, pero sa so Daniel na yan, ang keyword lang natin dyan, na si Kristo nagbigay ng mga indicators, last end, apocalyptic yan. Si Ellen G. White is an apocalyptic writer. Dapat natin maintindihan. So dito, kailan kaya naganap itong part, yung kaganapang ito, na nagkaroon ng Convention or Council. By the way, my beloved friends, alos lahat, including Seventh-day Adventist Church. Maraming ang hindi nakakaalam na mga pastors nito eh, na mayroon pala. Ang iba nga, nagsabi pa na ang at, mga sabadista daw, Adventist daw, ay ang, doon daw nakasali sa, sa World Council of Churches. Both are wrong. Kasi hindi naman tayo suba, sumali. Hindi nila alam doon sa Second Vatican. Pero mga kapatid, yung council na ni-refer ni Lindy White na coming ay, ay nangyari the year that Pastor Villarreal was born. 1965. Ito ang council. Ito ang picture. Ito talaga yung picture ng kanilang council meeting. Three years ito kapatid. Nagsimula sa 1963 natapos ng 1965. Ganda nito kapatid. So kung ito man ang kaganapan na sinabi na tinisiscribe ni Kristo sa Little Horn Movement, my beloved friends, kapatid, dito na tayo magsama-sama. Kaya nga in-encourage ko lahat yung nasa broadcast ministry, sa TV man, sa, Mike, sa Facebook, at sa ano, sa YouTube, let us come together. Uh, try ninyo, bisitahin nito, tingnan nyo. You tell me right away kung nasaan dito ang mali sa presentation. Saan ba dito? Because we are talking about present realities. Self-truth is self-evident, my friend. Yun ang nakaganda. So dito mapikita mo yun, kapatid, ha? 
Maintindihan ninyo ngayon, kaya kayong nag-backslide, backslide, hinahina ng pananampalataya. Mayroon pa tayong maliit na segundo na we can still get on the right track, my friend. May nauna na nahuli, may nahuli na nauna. Baka kayo yun kapatid, kasi yung nauna dyan, na hindi na lang mag-open, nauna sila sa mga pananampalataya, nauna pa nga sa studies of Daniel and Revelation, proclaimers na nga, pero nahuli. Kasi ayaw nila tingnan at bisitahin itong in-engage ni Kristo sa river Olay at Hibikil. Buti na lang, ha? mayroong mga kasamahan na kaibigan dyan. No? Vatican II ito kapatid, yung Vatican II. Because right now, sasabihin ko sa inyo ngayon, kayo na nakapanood ngayon, na kung hindi man kayo nag-drop lang dyan, you have to review this one. Kung ano ka ngayon, kung ano ako ngayon, kung ano tayo ngayon, politically at religiously, kung ano tayo, byproduct na lang tayo ng policy na nag-mold, nag-generate ng movement, na kung ano tayo ngayon, it's exactly what Second Vatican Council has been uh, doing. Kung ano ang kanilang ginawa, kapatid in 1963 to 1965. So the Second Vatican Council na nangyari, kapatid, celebrating its achievements, may libro kang mabili. Mapa, marami na ito. The first time we started the presentation, nah, nahirapan kami, no? my family, nahirapan kami mag-pull out sa internet, sa website nila, ng mga documents na ito. That was 1980, 1988, 89, 90, 91, 92. Napakahirap namin i-pull out yan. Lalo na pagdating sa 93, 94. Pero after that years na pumasok na sa, sa pagpasok na sa jubileum, pagpasok na kapatid sa celebration na nandoon na yung 3 February 1997, the year of the father sa jubilee, wala na kapatid. Exposed na lahat, nagproduce, publish na sila lahat. So nakalibro na siya ngayon. Mabili nyo na sa National Bookstore. Mabili mo na sa ISM ito ngayon. Because everything has been all achieved ng kanilang mga program. Kaya nga, celebrating its achievements and the future. So ano yung future na pinag-usapan? Kaya looking back sa, sa council na yan, nakaprodu- 19, 1962 to 1965 yan, dito nakikita natin yung Mass Media, Christian Unity, and the Central Commission for All Overall Coordinations. Dito natin makikita, kapatid, according to the, sa kanilang dokumento ito, the Second Vatican Council was the 21st Ecumenical Council of the Catholic Church. So ito yung kanilang title, Ecumenical Council. Pag Ecumenical, uh, that's a term applied na siya, yung reaching out nila, nag-reach out sila sa lahat ng denominations. So the word itself is so very enticing because ecumenical, it's a friendly connection with the rest of the denominations of the world. Sa kay ecumenical, it's a love yan, a love. So according to the Britannica.com, Second Vatican Council was the single most important event in the 20th century religious history. Kaya nga dapat makikita natin ito kapatid. Na hindi, na hindi tayo magsasalita na kaya nga ma-charge ka ng hate crime kasi ang sinasabi ng karamihan dyan, di, ginawang demonyo ang mga ano mga fraternity at mga ano kapatid. Na napakabait naman ang program na ito kapatid. During no, the night or the, or the opening night, ng candle lighting at sila dyan eh. Tapos ang kanta nila yung mga kinakanta natin ngayon. Kinaka, Come Holy Spirit, I need it. Yan ang kinakanta natin yan. Pero sinabi ng Microsoft Encarta, sinabi ng Microsoft Encarta, 1960, mayroon kayo dyan sa inyong mga laptop, voting members of the council were Roman Catholic bishops and heads of the male religious orders. But, in a radical departure from past practice, grabe ito, radical, pag sinabi ng radical departure, isipin sa 180 turn around, From past practice, Orthodox and Protestant churches were invited to send official delegate observers. Tatlong Adventists ang nakasali dyan. 
I think one is still alive today, my beloved God. Tatlo yan sila eh, na naka-attend doon. May record naman tayo dyan, na-publish naman yan sa, so parang Adventist uh, Science of the Times, na-publish dyan ka doon. In a radical departure, bakit radical departure? Kasi sa past practice nila, solid Roman Catholic yan. Pero ngayon, mayroon Orthodox and Protestant Church of Women to send official delegates. Primarily, nang naimbita yung, yung editor-in-chief ng Science of the Times, no? or ng Adventist Review, no? basta buhay pa yung isa o dalawa dyan. No? Pero yung statement ng Microsoft Encarta is exactly what Ellen G. White wrote in 1888. Another general council, a world's convention, Evangelical Alliance and Universal Evangelical Alliance. Orthodox and Protestant churches. Remember, the World Council of Churches was already years back. Ito 1965 na ito. Kapatid. So dito natin maintindihan na dito nakaproduce sila ng Universal Creed na 16 major documents Divided into three. Declaration, statements, and decrees. Kapatid, 16. Nagkaroon tayo ng mga kaganapan mga twin, uh, 20 years ago, mga 1990s ito, 1990s, na nagkaroon ng circular ang division dito sa Pilipinas, sa, sa, dito sa Far Eastern, sa panahon ni Pastor Bukala, na nagdistribute sila ng circular Warning the Adventists regarding the 16 articles na nangyari daw sa Africa. But it was a hoax. It was a form na para madetour tayo dito sa 16 documents ng Vatican. Kasi yung 16 articles na yon, ay yung 666, i-implant daw yung, yung microchips, Tapos ganito na daw yung mga barcode na itong gagawin tapos sa mga associations, sa mga produkto. Yung 16 articles, please send us if you have that copy para ma-identify natin na these are hoax na sinabi nila nangyari ito sa Africa, sa Kenya. On that year na pinablis niya na kiniklaim ng article na yan, there was non-existence of that meeting in Kenya, Africa. Grabe, ang daling mailad talaga natin kapatid. Madali tayong madisive. Eh, hanggang ngayon, daladala pa natin ang kultura na yan. Lalo na mga magpo-post sa ating mga, mga wall, sa ating mga Facebook. Pero napakabait ng Panginoon na advance niyang sinabi. Sinabi niya kay Daniel, sinabi din niya dito. Kay Sister White kapatid sa writings niya. Kaya dito natin maintindihan na yung 16 documents na yan, yun talaga kapatid ang nagporma ng ating humanity. Isa-isahin natin ito. Pero if you have a time to buy these books, buy it. But never buy, read this document until you read the whole of the book, Great Controversy, and the River, the Mount, and the Island. Tingnan mo kapatid, sa kanilang website, Catholic News Service, Vatican City. Second, Vatican Council approved 16 documents. Yung number one nila na document kapatid, Constitution on the Sacred Liturgy. Yun ang summary, it ordered an extensive revision of worship so that people would have a clearer sense of their own involvement in the Mass and other rites. Isang statement yan, pero makapal yan, kapatid. Pag binasa mo ang laman yan, yung Constitution of the Sacred Liturgy, magugulat ka, kapatid. From 1965, every five years, mayroon silang mga, mga renovating, mga modifying, implementing, uh, implementing programs and activities na sa ating generation, pagpasok natin sa year 2000, hindi natin namalayan na pumasok sa lahat ng relihiyon na baguhin yung ating structure, liturgy ng ating worship, kapatid. Paano binago yan, kapatid? Para maging new daw, marong new experience ng worship sa liturgy, 
Kasi pag binasa mo yan, hindi na natin, mag-homily sila ngayon para ng mga protestante pag nag-sermon ang mga pari. Di ba dyan ang video? Puntahan mo pag linggo, makinig ka sa homily. Parang sermon ng protestante ng ginagawa. Pero maliban dyan kapatid sa pagbabago na yan, malawak ang inabot niyan. Kasi yung pagbabago ng structure ng, ng worship, halimbawa sa mga simbahan, Kasi ang intensyon nila dito kapatid, I think mayroon tayong uh, clippings nga we can read by passing, pero i-advance ko lang baka makalimutan ko, na baguhin. Kasi dahil globalized na ngayon, pwede na ikaw ay pumunta ka sa bansa, sa Hong Kong, sa Thailand, na wala kayong simbahan, pag makarating ka ng simbahan ng mga born again o protestant, makarating ka doon, ma-feel at home ka, Kasi yung structure ng worship ninyo at ang mga kanta ninyo at ang pinaka-format ng worship parihas lang sa pinapractice ninyo dito sa Pilipinas. Ano yun? Yung pagbabago na ang collection ng tithes and offering ay hindi, di ba, nakasanayan na ang tithes offering ay mauna kasi worship of, of offering, worship of songs. Ang ending niyan, di ba, yung mag-sermon ang pastor Tapos, benediction, crossing some benediction. Binago yan, kapatid. May mga attempt na binago yan na ang tithes and collection of offering after the speaker delivered the sermon. Kasi yun ang kadalasan na sanayan ng Catholic. Kasi pag ginawa nilang sermon, tapos i-mention ang mga mayayaman, so magpapatang ng malaki. But besides of it, kapatid, Makikita mo lahat ng relihiyon ng protestante yun na after the sermon collection tayo sa number. Kasi yun ang global implications and achievement na gagawin para magkaroon tayo ng common forms and common experience. Kita niyo kapatid. Pumasok na yan dito sa Pilipinas eh. Mayroong pastor nga nag- naghalit niya sa akin kasi in-expose ko yan eh. In-expose ko yan. Na yung pagbabago ng ng structure. Pag tinan mo kang Elidio White sa mga church manual, sa writing si Elidio White, ganun talaga. Yung kinailangan, ganito ang ating sequence ng structure ng worship. Ano pa dito kapatid? Constitution on the instrument of social communication. Anong sinabi dyan? It called on members of the church, especially the lighty. Grabe yan, no? Dito pala, mayroon akong malaki pala dito kapatid na makikita natin. Yan. May sinabi dito, for my generation according to one uh, journal, Vatican Council II was really a revolution. Recalls Vatican analyst Marco Politi, who was in high school at the time. There was a new way to have relationship with the Jews. Grabe. Wala pang 2000 ito. There was a new way to look at the other Christian confessions. There was a new way, grave, new way to handle the relationship with Islam. And there was a new lethargy. Kita mo yun? Kumplito to kapatid. Napaka-positive, napaka-angelic na movement ito. In fairness to the Roman Catholic Church. Saan ba si Satanas dyan? Hindi ba dapat i-reach out mo? Kita nyo ito kapatid. Itong Constitution, December 4, 1963, it ordered an extension, ano, yung sinabi ko sa inyo kanina. According to 2012, Liturgies for Christian Unity is an anthology of the very best approaches to celebrating common religious ground. Ito, publication ito ng Roman Catholic Church, the 2012 kapatid. Kaya pag walang river talaga, Ikaw ngayon na, halimbawa, district leader ka, pastor ka, director ka, presidente ka, pag hindi mo alam talaga ang river, kaya ang mga opsyos naman ngayon, pag gumawa ka ng ganyan, ay, uy, alam, ganyan, ganyan. So, mag-away na sila. Mag-a- yung, yung opsyos na walang river, mag-away sila, wala silang pupuntahan. Hanggang ngayon, mag-away sila. Kasi hindi mahandol yung tamang misahe, kapatid. Yung misahe ni Kristo. Nakita mo yan? No? containing prayers and texts from the past 100 years of the week of prayer for Christian unity. Yung week of prayer for Christian unity, if you have time, tingnan nyo yan sa internet. Uh, ayan, week of prayer for Christian unity. Tingnan mo yan, every year yan. Every year mayroong Christian, tapos may mga team yan. Ah, grabe. Hindi pala hibo ang movement yan. 
napakapino kapatid na makikita mo na ng produkto ngayon bakit nagkaganya ng ating lahat ng mga simbahan its exclusiveness and its usefulness make it a required resource for parishes, retreat center chaplains, educators in all manners ginamit na nilang chaplains kasi yung tinatawag natin sa mga hospital chaplaincy, chaplaincy program ganda niyan kapatid ganda niyan saan hinugot ba yung chaplaincy program Nandito tayo sa decrease on social communications. Now, it called members of the church, especially the lighty, to instill human and Christian spirit into in newspapers, magazine, books. Pero, kaya ini-encourage ang mga independent ministries. Magkaroon kayo ng newspapers, magazine, books, films. Sa so, pagkain magkaroon ng bawat simbahan yan, mag-organize na agad through the government, mag-organize ng associations of journalists, associations of editors, associations of writers, association of filmmakers, association. So makikita mo, tapos may mga funding na hindi mo nakikita yung pinaka-prinsipyo ng galaw. Kasi it, para aabutin yung tinatawag nilang 1,000 years na of love and cooperation and relationship. Mamabubura na yung urgency na lahat yung nanggagagani nangyayari. Kaya sinabi niya, mga kalamitis, walang bearing yan. Ang natural lang yan. Grabe ito kapatid. Grabe talaga ito. Furthermore, from the document emerged World Social Communication Day. Kaya mayroon tayong World Social Communication Day which was created by the Second Vatican Council to provide annual message for the church to its people and the rest of the world. John Paul II because he promoted responsible and positive goals on social communications. Magugulat ka nga kapatid eh. Pagpuntahan mo ang ating National Telecommunications NTC, kunin mo ang kalilang mission statement objectives. Kunin mo. Punta ka dyan sa National Bookstore o sa St. Paul sa East End. Mayroon dyan mga maliliit na mga pamphlet about social communications, may mga NTC, mga government. Ano. Makikita ka kung ano ang sinasabi ng gobyerno, yun ang Second Vatican Council. Because there's nothing wrong. That's exactly what people need today. Kasi globalized na eh. Grabe. Kaya sa social communication, halimbawa, excited ang mga Adventists dahil nagkaroon tayo ng mga radio stations. Di ba? Ano yung radio station na in-establish yung 5 kilometers lang ang circumference radius ng ma-reach niya? Kasi after that, kailangan muna ng license to operate. License to operate ng TV and radio broadcasting. Pero mayroong na-introduce na yung tinatawag yung community broadcasting ng C, uh, CB, no? CBP, Community Broadcasting of the Philippines. Yung community broadcasting, kapatid, hindi lang yan sa Pilipinas. Whole world yan. Whole world. May community broadcasting. The same principle, yung 5 kilometers, kapatid. Pa, kaya, kaya, dahil yan sa decree on the instrument of social communication. Pero hindi natin, Huwag kanya, nanggamit natin yan, of course, pero dapat maintindihan natin na yung relevance ng Word of God sa kanyang second coming, yung ganitong mga na mga pangyayari. Eh, ayun na na. So maging instrument na kayo ngayon, nagganawa ka ng broadcasting, tapos hindi kayo makalevel up ng mensahe, tapos ganun pa rin ang mensahe ninyo, copy and paste pa rin. So hindi mo na madala ang kaluluwa sa movement na mag-prepare sa pag- grabing, napakapino ito. Pastor Miller, napakapina dito. Sa lahat na nanonood ngayon. Napaka, na. So makikita ninyo ito, itong dogmatic constitutions of the church. Ano yung mga dogmatic constitutions of the church? It presented the church as a mystery, as a communion of baptized believers. As the people of God, as the body of Christ, as a pilgrim moving towards fulfillment in heaven, marked on earth, sanctity that is real, although imperfect. Pag binasa mo yung November 2020 na dogmatic kasi lumen gentle. Magugulat ka kapatid. Magugulat ka. Na ang laman niyan ngarito ngayon. Na kung sino man ang nabautismuhan. Kung sino man ang nabautismuhan sa tamang bautismo, half communion sa Roman Catholic. Pag nagparticipate ka, participate ka ng program projects run by the government in partnership with the NGOs, with the program, you restore the full communion of the Roman Catholic Church. That's their claim. 
Hindi na kailangan nila na ilista ka nila, nakatuli ko ka. Manatili ka sa barista, manatili kang baptist, manatili ka dyan. Ang importante, naka-engage ka sa movement ng kanilang ginagawa. What a beautiful way. Ang <laughs> ganda. Decree on ecumenism. It said that ecumenism should be 1961. Unitates, lilit and tagrati. Mabilisan natin ito kapatid na kasi ito yung ano, 9 o'clock na. Decree on ecumenism. Dito natin makikita. It said that ecumenism should be everyone's concern. That genuine ecumenism involves a continual personal and institutional renewal. Napakalalim nito kapag ito. Makapal yun eh. Isa, description lang ito ang binasa ko. Pero makapal na dokumento yan, decree yan. Tapos nakanumber yan. Ganda niyan kapatid. Maganda sana yan sa mga scholars ni Lujas. Magpupo, ala, discussan niyo yan. Ganda sana yan. Isipin mo, personal and institutional renewal. Ano yung understanding nila ng personal renewal? Yun ang revival and reformation program nila. Institutional renewal. Sabat and Sunday. Yun ang kanilang institutional renewal. Marriage. Marriage. Institutions na in-establish na ng Panginoon. Marriage and Sabbath. Meron din sila. Grabe. Grabe kapatid. Pag binasa mo yung institutional renewal. Kaya mayroon sila ngayon. Maraming kalimutan ko na ngayon mga detalye dyan eh. Pero may sabi yung ibang episode. Talakayin din natin ito. No? Ano yung mga program ng mga renewal na ginagawa ngayon? Ano ba ba? Yung mga tinatawa couples for Christ, singles for Christ, yan. Yung family, mga interfaith, yung mga renewal, institution renewal. Kaya meron silang sabat na ngayon na magkikita niya ngayon mamaya. So it, meron siya, it has been over 47 years since the Second Vatican Council produced the seminal document. According to 2012 Catholic men, the call to be one in Christ. The decree on the however much progress has been made in building bridges to other Christian denominations. Ang ganda niya. Building bridges to other Christian denominations. Grabe. Tapos may sinabi si Lindy White sa My Life 77, paragraph 3. It is a grave mistake on the part of those who are children of God to seek to bridge the gulf that separates the children of light from the children of darkness by yielding principle by compromising the truth. Huwag mo nang i-compromise ang truth ngayon. Ano ang truth ngayon? Christ is coming. Do not make a detour. His, the urgency of preparing. Wala na kapatid. Kasi naahanod na tayo. Ganda ito kapatid. Pagdating natin sa book of Revelation. Mayroon pa dito. Decree of the Eastern Catholic Churches. Ganda ito kapatid. Decree on the bishop pastoral office. Kaya mayroon tayong interfaith, interpastoral. Ipatawag kayo ng munisipyo, mga city hall. Mag-organize ng interfaith, interpastoral. Tapos ilik na presidente ang sabadista. Tapos mag-meeting tayong ganito. Ganyan, inter-basketball, inter-volleyball. Mag-seminar tayo, magsama-sama tayo sa feeding program. Magsama-sama tayo sa medical missions. Puntahan natin ang mga nitibo. Puntahan natin yung mga urban poor, lahat yan ng mga, mga social services. Kompleto yan sila dyan. Lahat, lahat nga ng activity ng mundo eh. No? <laughs> Bakit ganun? Decree on priestly formation. Pag binasa mo priestly yan, pero nandoon na mga pastors of all denomination, paano tulungan. Tawag ito, decree on the bishop. Ito pa, decree on the bishop. Kanina? Decree on the bishop of pastoral office in the church. No, BSAF is a pastoral directions jointly. Paano magkaroon ng interpastoral? Tapos ito pa, decree on the priestly, decree on the appropriate renewal of religious life. Ang ganda nito pag binasa mo kapatid. Liwanag na liwanag sa ating spirituality. Dito mo maintindihan yung spiritual formation. Spiritual formation ba? Kung paano tayo ma-form ang ating relasyon dahil sa Panginoon. It provided guidelines. No? For the personal and institutional renewal of the lives of nuns, brothers, priests, belonging to religious order. So, dinescribe nila ang kanila dyan. 
Pero pagdating mo dyan sa dulo ng kailang mga dokumento, ang may, well, hindi na sila gumamit dito ng Catholic Church. Church na ang ginagamit nila. Yung word na church. Tinan mo yan. Declaration of the relationship of the church to the non-Christian religious. Nostra etete. It, Catholic Church rejects nothing that is true and holy in non-Christian call for an end to anti-Semitism. Sila nang mismo nagsabi na itigil na yung pag-away-away na anuhin ang mga Hudiyo, mga Muslim, and said any discrimination based on race, color, religion, or condition of life is foreign to the mind of Christ. Ang ganda, kapatid. Uruistra et eti. Ang ganda yan. October 28, 1965. Ito pa, Declaration of Christian Education. Makikita mo ito, kapatid, yung Christian Education. Bakit nagkaroon tayo ng K-12 ngayon? <laughs> Dahil mo mababasa yan, kapatid. Ma, bakit nagkaroon tayo ng kindergarten education na opposite na sa Advent Elegy White na the formal education must be the age of eight. Sa kanila, four, five, six. Okay. Nandyan yan, kapatid. Declaration of Christian education. Dogmatic constitutions of divine revelations. Malalim din yan kanilang pag tunod sa God's Word, paano natin intindihin ang salita ng Diyos. Kaya ngayon, malakas na ngayon ang mga pagsasabi na it was the Roman Catholic Church who gathered the, the manuscript, it was the Catholic Church that gathered and spent money for who, for what we have now. Kaya mayroon tayong King James Version. Dapat magpasalamat ang mga lahat, ng mga faith believers. Ganda niyan. Decree on the ministry and life of praise. Ano ba? Pastoral constitution of the church in the modern world. Paano i-discuss nila, i-deal ang mga nuclear war, mga peace problem. Lahat yan kapatid, no? it said marriage was not just for procreation. So ano ang issue tungkol sa problema ng marriage? Modern world. Ano ang problema ng modern world? Mayroon din silang discussions, activities, programs niyan kapatid. So dito na, it is imperative that no one indulge in merely individualistic morality. The best way to fulfill one's obligation of justice and love is to contribute to yan, common good according to one's means, needs, and others. So dito, the whole concept ng Vatican II na bakit mayroon silang Vatican II and the whole uh, Protestant, Orthodox, and uh, ano, Evangelical Alliance para makamit yung kapayapaan, kabutihan, sa buong mundo for the common good of all humanity. So, ang principal policy of the common good talaga ang nangingibabaw dito, kapatid. Lalo na itong Gaudium et Spes, the Catholic Church in the modern world. Pag binasa natin ito, everyday human interdependence grows more tightly, drawn and spread by degrees over the whole world as a result the common good that is the sum of those ang sumada total of those conditions of social life which allow social groups and their individual... Gapakaganda nito, kapatid. Napaka, makapal ito kanilang Vatican Document 2, Volume 1 and Volume 2, kapatid. Pero sumada total, wala tayong panahon para isa-isay nito. But the Bible is just simply telling us. And through His policy, He shall cause craft to prosper in His end. So dito natin maintindihan kapatid, no? Marami pa ito sana, no? Purity. Decree on the apostolate of the laity. It said that the laity should influence their surroundings with Christ teachings. Kung mayroong man Christ-centered church today, it is the Roman Catholic Church. Christ-centered church. Mayroon pa siya decree on church missionary activity. Ano yung church missionary activity nila? Ang title niya sa no, Ad Hentes, December 7, 1965, ito na approved. It said, missionary activity should help the social and economic welfare of people and not force anyone to accept the faith. Sipin mo, 1965 pa nila na, na, na teachings, missionary activity, na huwag niyo, pag tumulong kayo sa kapwa niyo, kung ano man ang relihiyon nila, huwag mo silang pilitin para tanggapin ang pagkakatuliko. Yun ang teachings niya. If you want to help, kaya nga, di ba? Yung mga dinistribute natin sa Adventist na mga wheelchair, 
Ano ang nakasulat sa lipot? Donated by the Knights of Columbus. Kung di ba? Yung ating adra, how much is the church money get into the adra? Ano lang ba ang ating pira dyan, kapatid? Pero ang nakasulat yan, adra ardent is relief. Pero tanongin mo, saan galing ang most of the money, finances from the adra? comes from the USA. So wala tayong ano kasi United States of America eh. Pero hindi mo tinignan kung saan galing sa ampira ng USA. From the Caritas International. Caritas International is a lay organization of the Roman Catholic Church. Kita niya? Ganun kapatid. So yung mga option, hindi yung ang ibig sabihin na babilo na ito. Kasi yung prinsipyo ng kabutihan, prinsipyo ng para sa iyong kapakanan, para mapalago niyo ang iyong mga simbahan, denominational upliftment, ganda no? Denominational uh, development, church missionary enrichment, ganda kapatid niya. Kaya nga merong ecumenical magtabang tulong-tulong. Kaya si Joe kasama doon sa pagpapicture. Nandiyon sila, nagpa-picture sila sa kanilang ano. Kaya kawawa na eh, kaya dapat kailangan. It is out din na isabihan sila. From the Philippines to Pastor Joe. Declaration on Religious Freedom. Tingnan mo yung Religious Freedom. Saan ba yung sinasabi ng mga karamihan sa balista na tanggalan tayo ng karapatan kasi ito na ang gagawin nila. Laplapan na itong laplapan. Sabi sa laplapan na tanggalin. Bugbugin tayo. Okay. Ang kanila dyan, December 7, 1965, Dignitatis Humanae. It said that religious liberty is a right found in the dignity of its person. Karapatan, dignidad ng tao yun. And that no one should be forced to act in a way contrary to his or her own beliefs. So hindi makapasa yung accusation ng mga conspiracy theory. Na ipilit ang relihiyon, isahin ang relihiyon kasi isa na lang kasi yun ang Antikristo kasi ang kanilang story of redemption, yung great controversy nila, lalabas ang Antikristo. Yung Antikristo na yan na pilitin ang mga tao. Oh my beloved friends, seven the Adventist, we'd be deceived for so long. Napakalinaw na kanilang teachings kapatid. Na hindi pilitin. Huwag mong pilitin. Maniwala ka kung paniwalaan mo. Pero huwag mo lang sabihin na makapagsakit ka sa damdamin ng ibang religion. Ay, doon na kayo. Kaya, religious pluralism na kayo. Yan, no? Bago lang ito. Bago lang yan, ha? Yun, no? Ano yan? U.S. report on global religious freedom highlights good and bad trend. Vatican News. Yan. Bago lang ito. Anong... Ngayon lang taon siguro ito, kapatid. So, ano pang news ngayon? Sa NPR, the US ito, NPR, National, kalimutan ko yung meaning ng NPR. Type mo lang yun sa internet. Why is Vatican II so important? Yan, sa picture na yan, hindi ang katuloy. Mga Orthodox, mga Jewish pa yung iba dyan. Sabi pa ng mga Jewish, why Vatican II is so important in our generation? Bago lang ito, October 10, 2012. No? Sa 2019, International Religious Freedom Report. U.S. Embassy in Cabo Verde. Sa U.S. report yan. No? International Religious Freedom Report. Ang grabe. Religious Freedom Week. Catholic urge to pray, reflect, act to safeguard religious liberty. Grabe. Sila ngayon ang nag-protect ng religious freedom. Sana yung Bible. Ano, memorize natin yung Bible kasi ang Bible ay kukunin yan sa atin. Na ang nagbibigay nga ng Bible ngayon sila. Pag na mayroon kayong crusade, may baptism, sino ang namibigay ng Bible sa iba't ibang mga lugar? Pag wala kayong budget, puntahan nyo, namibigay sila ng Bible, ang Roman Catholic Church. Napakabait, napakaganda nga nila kapatid. Kaya nga yung First Amendment sa Amerika, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free of exercise thereof. Talagang pinatayo talaga nila yan kapatid. Kaya nga Religious Freedom Day, Lahat yan o, mga signs yan ng mga religion. So dito natin nakikita, mga kapatid. No? 
Grabe no? Unsa naman ang atong panahon? Tao, Buddhism, Islam, Christianity, Islam, wala na yan. National Religious Freedom Day, respect. Kasi religious pluralism na ang ating generation. Nandito na tayo sa panahon ba na Institutional Religious Freedom Alliance? Shave. Sinasabi pa dyan. No? Serving others in God's love. Religious Freedom Week. June 22 to 29, 2018. Alam nyo kung sino ang mga nag-attend dyan? Sa Religious Freedom Week. Ang grabe. Mga political leaders at mga religious leaders ng iba't ibang religious organizations. Ito, Institutional Religious Freedom Alliance, shaped by faith, free to flourish. Ang ganda niya. Maraming mga participant tayo dyan. Marami tayong participant. Kaya sa panahon ni Pope Benedict, nang pumisita siya sa Cuba, religious freedom creates conditions conducive to peace and harmonious development. Ang ganda. Harmonious development daw, kailangan ng religious freedom. According to Pope Francis Benedict, strengthening religious freedom consolidates social bands, nourishes the hope of a better world, creates favorable conditions for peace, harmonious development, while at the same time establishing solid foundation for securing the rights of future generations. Napakaganda nito kapatid. No nagulat na lang tayo kasi maraming mga bansa, mga religious organizations na sana magkaroon tayo ng ng ano, yung capital of religious freedom. Kasi ang alam natin na pinersecute ng dark ages ang lahat ng mga reliyon. So, dapat mayroon tayong simbolo ng religious freedom, the capital of religious freedom. Di ba ngayon, meron na ngayon, the city of France, the country of ano. Pero ito kapatid, nagulat tayo. Kasi publish ito ni John Grass, ng, ng pastor ng Adventist, Silver Spring, Maryland. Will Rome be the new world capital of religious freedom? Rome recently launched an observatory on religious freedom, an initiative aimed at making Rome the reference point for the defense of the religious freedom in the world. Grabe. Reference point sila ng religious freedom. In fact, ang nagsabi nga sa, sa mundo na nang inaccuse ang Adventist na kulto, ang nagsave nga sa atin sila, no, they are not cults. Adventists are not cults. They are Christians. So, the Second Vatican Council on October 4, 1965, Pope Paul made a historic journey. So, dito mo na makita yung movement na papunta na sa political world. Exclusive siya, the whole, the Evangelical, the Catholic Church, Second Vatican Council. Historic journey to speak before the United Nations in New York City. The Pope made that trip in the name of the entire council for the cause of peace in the world. Anong sinabi ng Bible, Daniel 8.25? And through his policy, and through his teachings, and through his set of principles, he shall cause craft, his intelligence, prosper in his hand, and by peace. Grab it. Exactly is happening. Ano mo mang masasabi natin dito? And by peace, for the cause of peace in the world. Daniel 8.25 is exactly telling, describing, prescribing our very own generation. World hopes new Pope will continue to work for peace. This was, ano ito kapatid? This was in 2012. Ah, the time when Pope Benedict was elected. World hopes, new hope will continue to work for peace. Benedict I is Christian unity. So anong sinasabi ng principle ng ating human psychology? When there is unity, there is, you know, when there is unity, there is peace. When there is peace, there is prosperity. So kung ganyan mga kapatid, kaya makikita natin ngayon ang lingwahe sa mga munisipyo, city hall, and the nations of the world, and program of the, of the world of the United Nations, authentic human development. Kailangan siya maging authentic. Ano yung basis ng authentic? There is a common ground, common 
felt good. Kailangan common para sa lahat. Wala. Because we, have, we face the same problem. We are facing the same. So therefore, we act the same. Kaya na-generate na yan na engagement. Nakadevelop na ang humanity ng culture. Kaya pagdating ng COVID, ebidensya na isa na lang ang ating galawin. So it's not about that conspiracy. It's about what we manifest based on the development of principles na, na inculturate, naging kultura natin ngayon because napakabilis na lang ng interactions ng mundo. Pero kahit ganito pa nangyari, nandoon pa rin yung mga tensions kasi di, di mawala yan. No? Di mawala yung tensions. So dito natin nakikita ngayong gabi kapatid na ang post-millennialist theology na naging global philosophy, new spirituality ang lingwahe ng theology for the common good. Ano ang para sa kab- para sa kabutihan, para sa kapakanan ng buong mamamayan. Common good. Saan ba kinuha inugot ang common good? Meron tayong special episode na yan. Because after Aileen G. White wrote the great controversy, after he wrote, she wrote in 1888, three years after, three years after 1891, lumabas ang isang dokumento written as an encyclical letter na ang title is Rerum Novarum. In a new, new, Rerum Novarum, in a new, for the good of humanity, for the common good of this new humanity, my friend. That's Rerum Novarum. These are principles. I would like to tell you, my friends, if not of the Bible prophecy. I have all my respect. Pag wala ng Biblia, walang spirit of prophecy, walang pinaka the best solution, walang pinaka the best program ng mundo is the Second Vatican Council. Kasi unity, peace, and prosperity. Pero this is the blueprint of Jesus Christ na ang ganitong kaganapan, ito na ang finale na movement where the enemy transforms as an angel of light, where he will ascend and I will blight the most high. So dito mga kapatid, gusto ko lang sa ganitong panahon, bukas ng gabi, okay, pag-aralan natin yung tinatawag natin kapatid, no? Tinatawag natin na symbolical fulfillment nitong lahat. Kasi ito literal na natin nakikita eh. Na ano yung sinasabi na tatayo siya sa Jerusalem? Paano siya? So may nagtanong dito na nakatanggap po ako ng ayuda sa Disdaw de Sap. Mali ba yun? Ah, tatagutin natin niya. Now, ganito yun kapatid. Minsan, ina-accuse natin yung ganitong program. Wala. The Sap. These are government uh, actions in an emergency to provide you. Kasi walang tambaho eh. Walang tambaho. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? Ang, proble- ang, ang importante dito sa ating kapatid, yung programa ng gobyerno, balik probensya, na, na sana maganda sana yan, no? na mismo na ang mundo na nagtuturo sa atin, na you have balik probensya, look for a place. Wala naman, wala naman tayo sa panahon ng country living. No, wala na tayo sa panahon. Fleeing time na tayo ngayon. If there is still a little chance for us to look as an urgent movement, you have to do it with the movement of the Holy Spirit. Kasi it's the Holy Spirit that will impress us to move. No? But you have to, you, you have the intelligence, kaya nga settling into the truth, intellectually, into the truth. Kung ito ang instruction ni Jesus, and you settle for it. You make a decision right now. Pero sa atin nga, parang hirap tayong iwanan. Siyempre, pinaghirapan mo na dyan sa Amerika, pinaghirapan mo dyan sa Europe, pinaghirapan mo dyan sa Thailand, pinaghirapan mo na lahat ito para makatayo ka ng bahay. E, paano ngayon? Yung bahay ngayon na napakaganda, nilinindol lang nung nakarang mga araw with all your labors. Anuman. Tapos yun pa ang sanhi ng iyong pagkamatay kasi natabunan ka, natabunan ka ng bahay na pinatayo mo. So the moment we will not make ourselves into the movement of Christ, 
Ano yung movement of Christ na ibinigay sa atin? That we are just pilgrims, we are not permanent resident, establishing permanent structures right now. Because the natural world is shaking the foundations of this earth. Then you have to move. You have to move. Because there is this, the redemption work going on. The last movement. Ito nang in apocalyptic na nga ang movement eh. Kung wala lang talagang story of redemption, pag wala nang blueprint yan, pinaka the best na ito, yung millennial development ko, pinaka the best talaga yan. Kasi bakit po sa, gawing sa ano yan, na common good yan eh. Ano bang evil sa common good? Para sa kabutihan, peace and prosperity. There's nothing evil in it. Saan bang evil niyan? Nakatanggap ka na sa ano pang masama doon. Natanggap tinulo. Ikaw, faithful tax giver ka. Ha? Nagbabayad ka ng buhis. Diba? What, what is due to Cesar? May gay ka doon. Program nila. Pero by the moment na it violates your conscience na pati sa ano ay kailangan mo tanggapin yan sa bado lang, aha, iba na yun kapatid. Iba na yun. Kasi in an event, eh, Mike, we will have a discussion kasi Matthew 24, 15 tayo, ito pumasok na tayo sa river. Hindi, hindi natin dinugtong pa yung 16, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 na verses doon. Hindi pa natin tinalakay doon, kapatid. Kaya ngayong gabi, alam ko na ni-review siguro ninyo yung the, the Daniel uh, chapter 8, the river all I engagement of Christ to Daniel for us, the last generation. Napakaganda nga ang program eh. It's not about that you, kung ano ginagawa ng pima ng mga harp harp na yan. Yung sila na kaya nga, naging antagonistic, naging ang treatment sa atin, hindi na makita liwanag ng kami kasi sila ulo tayo kasi pati pa yung vaccine ay lalagyan pa daw ng, ng microchip kasi para maging 666 na tayo. What a misinterpretation, my friend. Now, you try to watch our Messiah on that 666 on Revelation 13. No. Para maintindihan nyo yun, yung 666. Sinabi nga ni Salmo dyan, eh, na, the beast in us, meron nga tayong pag beast, eh, yung 6-9. So, dito natin, matalakay kapatid, na ang Daniel 8, 23, 24, 25, and through his policy, he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. Talagang, si Kristo na sabi talagang mag-prosper yan. Huwag oh. kang gagawa para, para salungatin mo ang kanilang ginagawa. Huwag ka. Bakit mo salungatin yun? <laughs> Gagawin mo. Huwag kang sasanga. Huwag ka rin ano, maano dyan. Maghanda ka. Maghanda ka na salubungin mo na si Kristo. You have to make a preparation right now na Sa puso mo rin, magsimula na rin ang ano mo na distasteful ka na sa mga bagay sa mundo. Kung hanggang ngayon, mahal-mahal mo pa yung mga bagay sa mundo na you are not ready to leave planet Earth. You are not ready. Hindi ka, naka, hindi ka pa handa na iwanan ang mundo ito. Kasi na, 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 na maparihan. Na, na, na tama yung sinabi ni Jesus. Na so as in the days of Noah. So as in the days of Lot. Hindi ba? So, that's a, that's a crucial warning. Kaya nga, reality. We have to see reality right now. The word of Christ stands by itself. So bukas ng gabi, kapatid, nalagay ba dito yung ano? Topic natin bukas ng gabi, pan-sandaigdigang paghulo. Yeah, it's here. So, part 2. Na part 2, kapatid. Papasok na tayo doon sa spiritual. Yung spiritual ba? Yung spiritual na movement. No? Magugulat ka. Huwag kayong masyata. Na kayo, tayo mismo ang gumagawa. Na naging bahagi na tayo sa movement nila. Yung bahagi na tayo ng movement. Na hindi na talaga kaya-aya pa sa harapan ng Panginoon. Pansandaigdigan, global formation of humanity. Spiritual and social part 2. So sa mga oras na ito kapatid, alam ko na uh, ang ubago lang nakapasok yung iba. So I encourage you to watch. To watch from the beginning, the previous series, my friend. So in behalf of the Radical Reconnections, let not be misunderstood. Yung faith-based, yung dynamics na pinaniwalaan ng Roman Catholic Church. It's really, 
virtues, values. Dahil nga sa philosophy ng 1,000 years of planet Earth. So hindi sila pilgrims, permanent residents. So ang program nila, ang concept nila, hindi talaga yun masama kasi kabutihan mo yun eh. May, may Panginoon ng movement na yun eh. Yung kanilang faith-based, tapos mga programa, mga activities na love, mercy, and compassion. Kaya na sa tatlo na yan, love, mercy, and compassion, hindi na tuloy maitayo yung kondisyon ng Bible, ng story, love, mercy, and judgment. Ano, wala na judgment. Kasi hindi, hindi pa na, 1,000 years pa. Okay, shall we bow our heads for prayer? Our great God, loving Father in heaven, in the throne of your praise, kami po'y nagpapasalamat sa uras na ipinagkaloob niya sa amin. Kami humiling Panginoon ng kapatawaran ng aming mga shortcomings. Though we can, very short of time, na mabilis ang aming talagayan. Because we just want to impress into the hearts of these people that the movement of this great controversy is getting so fast, getting so strong. But we need also strong decisions. So we ask you, Lord Jesus Christ, in the remaining moments of intercessory work, in the throne that full of grace, keep us, hold us, loving Father, and continually enlighten us, Lord Holy Spirit, with your grace. Thank you for keeping all of us to continue and share this message of redemption because it is Christ's own words na nakikita na namin na nangyayari sa aming harapan. Give them dreams and visions tonight. We pray for our leaders of the church, of the general conference, down to the local churches. We pray for the district leaders, the officers, the directors, the presidents of the missions, the missions, the unions. Give them dreams and visions. Allow them to be connected. Find, we entrust to Heavenly Father that we can find a ways to connect. Listen to your words. Thank you for granting our request. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.